What's going on guys? So I just pulled up here at the marina and I'm going out to do another taste test. Now the target species today is something you guys have been asking for. So now you're going to get it. I'm going after a stingray. Let's go fishing. guys here we go we're headed out we got one goal today and that's to catch a stingray i don't care about anything else i want to catch a stingray it's rough the conditions are bad uh it's gonna be tough but uh we're gonna make it happen all right let's go All right, guys, I have a lot going against me today. It's cold, it's windy. I found one little bank over here that I could get out of the wind and I've got to catch a stingray. So what I'm gonna do is just try to sight fish one and I'm gonna take this bait here and throw it out in front of him when I see it and, and see if he'll swim over and pick it up. There's a stingray right here. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. Oh my gosh, he's perfect size too. This stingray right here is the perfect size stingray. He's like exactly the size that I want. Oh, he's just sitting here on the grass though. He's not, he's not moving. Oh my gosh, come here, come here. I gotta pitch this bait to him. If he'll start moving, I can pitch it in front of him. Oh, dude, he's like, he's got his nose sitting on the bait right now. If he'll just go just a little, oh, dude, he almost ate it. I thought he was going to eat it. I thought he was going to eat it. Are you kidding me, dude? Dude, I've got my uh, I've got my bait out here on a stingray right now. He's about 25, 30 yards from the boat, and uh, he's kind of he's swimming right to it, man. He's he's about to swim over the top of it. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, he's got it! He's got it! He's got it! Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> I've got him! I've got him! Stingray! Oh, dude, he's buried up. He buried in the sand. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I got him. I got him out. I got him out. Here he is, guys. He's right up here to the boat right now. Look at him down there. In the midst of all the excitement, I completely forgot to tie down my $600 camera that was on the tripod, and a big gust of wind came and completely knocked it overboard. My camera went overboard. Look at this. I just had to snatch my camera my good camera completely went overboard oh i'm like sick to my stomach right now i'm literally sick to my stomach look at this look at this guys this is like the most bittersweet moment ever i catch a stingray i put the stingray in the boat and my good canon rebel DSLR camera shoots off the front. It was so windy and rough out here, the tie down came undone and goes in the water, camera goes overboard. It's gonna be hard for me to even complete this video, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna complete the taste test. I'm gonna go home and eat the stingray. I'm not gonna have some of the footage that I was gonna have because it's all on that camera right there. Here he is, guys. Here's the stingray. Just such a bittersweet moment right now. There was just too much excitement going on. I wasn't paying attention. It was my fault. Camera goes overboard. Guys, the ray is in the cooler right here. I'm about to put him on ice 
and head back to the dock. Uh, I'm going to complete this challenge for you guys because I know y'all have been asking for it. But I really just feel like going home and crying right now. <laughs> I just made it back uh, back into the bayou, man. I'm, I'm still just sick to my stomach. I'm just praying that that I have insurance on this camera. I cannot remember if I, if I have insurance on it or not. So if not, that's a five to six hundred dollar loss right there. All right, let's take this bad boy back to the house. All right, I got the fish in the cooler. Actually, I got the stingray in the cooler. Now let's go to Best Buy and see if I can get a new camera. So I have good news and bad news. I'm just leaving uh, the place that I bought my camera. Bad news is they wouldn't let they would not at. Blah, blah, blah. They wouldn't let me exchange it today. Good news is they are going to warranty it out, and I am going to get a new camera, but it's going to take two to three weeks. So I'm going to be without my good camera for two to three weeks. So I don't know how I'm going to finish and do these taste test videos or anything like that. I'm going to have to, I'm going to see if my younger sister might let me borrow her camera for the cooking portion. So I just talked to my sister. She was nice enough to, she said to come over and I can borrow her camera. That's awesome. She has the same camera that I use. So, um, I'm happy about that. Then I'm headed to my, uh, my parents' house and we're going to do a taste test. All right, I just pulled up here at my family's house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ray, I'm going to go clean it, and then I'm going to get my mom and my grandparents out, and we're going to do a little taste test. I'm not going to tell them what they're eating, though. All right, guys, I got him right here. Check him out. All right, let's clean this bad boy. You just want to get cut off the wings right here. All right, I'm done cleaning. Here's the meat right here. It actually looks pretty good. It looks kind of like a, a black tip shark, maybe even a little better than a black tip shark. So uh, let's go in. My taste testers are trying to back out, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Uh, I'm gonna go in and cook it right now and then get them ready. All right, I'm in the kitchen. I got my meat right here. I'm just gonna put a little salt, pepper, butter, and olive oil on it and then throw it on the skillet. It shouldn't take long at all to cook. All right, the ray is seasoned, the grease is popping, it's ready to go on the frying pan. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, I'm excited because they have no idea what they're about to eat. All right guys, got my fish right here. I'm about to walk across the street to my grandparents' house and make them eat it. <laughs> All right guys, so we have our fish right here. I've got my mother here to do the taste test and my grandfather. So uh, first, we're gonna go, do, do you wanna go at the same time or? Uh, I think we should go at the same all time. All right, we're gonna all go at the same time it. and then, you don't smell it, it smells like fish. Smells we're gonna go at the same time and then we're gonna give our honest opinions. All right, here we go. Granddad, you get you a piece over there. I'm gonna get this little piece right here. Granddad, get you a piece. Okay. Right there. <laughs> all right, one, wait, well, Granddad, <laughs> Now hold on. Alright, Mom, I want you to give your opinion first. What do you think? It tastes fine. It's not... It, this, again, doesn't taste as bad as it smells. So you it's think like, it smells bad? And it kind of has a texture... More like maybe crab. Crab, yeah. It has yeah. a crab texture. Granddad, mm -hmm. what did you think? Well, son, I've never went against you. <laughs> I don't care. Give I your honest opinion. I don't take it like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he doesn't like it. I actually thought it gave kind of a crab meat taste to it. I, I didn't mind it at all. Um, so we have one dislike. Your thumbs up or with, thumbs up or thumbs down. I agree with you. That has the crab okay. texture in. I mean, it's okay. It's not. I don't All right, now, now here, here, okay. Here's here's the final part right here. Now I get to tell you guys what you just ate. It must have been rattlesnake. 
No, it was a rattlesnake. <laughs> it was stingray. Ah, no wonder. <laughs> yeah, had a bite to it. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It really, it, it, it really and truly was it pretty, was decent. pretty decent. It, it tasted similar to crab meat, mm -hmm. uh, texture. I just, uh, texture wise. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Granddad likes fish in general, so no, he may be a I little like, biased. I like the old Southern fried. <laughs> <laughs> See, he likes David's catfish house. Yeah, that's it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, all right, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. I'll keep doing more. Y'all have a great weekend.